229 TB triple hybrid bed, TB, T, triple bed, um, StarCraft Travel Star here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Very close cousin to the Jayco J Feather, which has a big time Jayco dealer we are very familiar with. Very similar construction methodology. We've got all kinds of vacuum lamination going on, which is just the best process out there. And none of that matters, though, if it's not well kept. Thankfully, you don't have to settle for good built or well kept. This is both. Um, what is the weight on this? I knew I'd, knew I'd forget it. Uh, 4,559 pounds as this one is built and came off the line. That is great. That's still uh, potentially SUV towable for uh, properly tow package and equipped SUVs. This is essentially a slightly longer version of the X18D um, J Feather or a slightly smaller version of the X23F J Feather. Just depends. The, it's longer than the 18, but it does not have the slide right here of the J Feather 23 footer. It does, however, still share that vacuum bonded construction I mentioned. Um, it does have the uh, good aluminum wheels and the uh, better suspension package, the uh, the triple bed layout, and it does still have that bigger air conditioner. Um, you know what it what it doesn't have is chintz construction. You're not going to see OSB and particle board and whatnot all over the place. Um, little outside gas grill connect over here if you do want to add a little outside grill station. She's equipped and ready. Big power awning. We've got about a 18 foot, somewhere between 18 and 20 foot power awning on here, and a great look. She's just clean and ready to hit the road you know little things like this i look at your baggage doors are sealed the the hinges here are sealed so that you don't get water penetration on those seals it means that you know 10 years from now when you open that baggage door it's not going to go screech and yes that is what it will sound like in case you're wondering i will re oh that is smart i just noticed that they mounted the speakers down here low instead of really high that is smart um when the speakers are up high guys the only people who can hear them are the folks camping next to you because your speakers are pointing at their camper, not at your campsite, unlike these. Because when you're sitting here, you're at a picnic table. So you're like, you're down at this level, basically. So these speakers are right at your level. You can keep them quieter. You can hear your music and entertainment more clearly. And you don't annoy your neighbors. That is so smart. Um, big handle, too. I like that nice big entry handle as you come in here. Um, this is just, it's a, it's a neat floor plan. And not, like I said, I've seen things very similar. I've seen things slightly larger, slightly smaller, but never this exact one. And it is cool. So we're, we're getting a big, uh, horseshoe dinette, which is not, uh, uncommon necessarily in hybrids, but they usually shove them against the front wall of the camper, which means that people have to climb over the dinette to get to the bed, but they fix that. They left a walkway here and even included a little gaucho sofa um, over here as well with storage underneath. There is full storage underneath both the uh, sofa and the dinette over here. Big window, big window, big time cross breeze windows. And you especially, especially need that breeze um, in the uh, uh, hybrid beds like this. Now, um, since this does not have a hard constructed roof above these bed ends, it can be difficult to get airflow down here. That's why they started including these little bunk fan lights, and they do a tremendous job. You just got to get a little bit of air flowing through, and the rest takes care of itself, and this does a fantastic job of it. Um, a nice uh, RCA flat screen TV still uh, mounted straight from the factory right up here because they put these on a heavy-duty mount. Again, um, StarCraft being a Jayco owned company, they're not really apt to chintz on construction. That's one of the things I like about them. The um, TV here, it is pivoting, so you can, you can loosen this, you can pivot it toward the kitchen if someone's just preparing food, or it can face the living area here like it is right now. Um, full on six cubic foot refrigerator freezer. And uh, the six cubic foot is important to me because that's when you first start to get the separate freezer. The five cubic foot and below, you still just have a little freezer chest built into your refrigerator and it's not as good. But look at this massive closet right when you walk in. You've got room for everybody's coats. This is a great spring and fall camper as well as obviously summer since it does have a full on fifth wheel size air conditioner going on in here. Nice clean looking cabinetry. Nothing is dug up and marred up and scarred up. You see there's even a nice sheen still on all the woodwork. You know, it, it hasn't been wore out. Countertops are in great shape. Nobody spilled water all over the place and sponged up the counters. Good storage under here too. They give you about as much storage as you could ever beg for in one of these things. Um, speaking of that, we have a, uh, a double sort of pantry and closet thing going on here. We have one here and then we have one. This is primarily dedicated as a closet where the other one's primarily a pantry, although they could both float rolls. Now on top of that, 
you have more storage overhead um uh both of these uh rear beds back here they are all um queens kings i have to measure it you know what i'm sorry i believe we have a triple queen here um very certain of that but not 100 percent certain i don't like saying things i know i like or part <laughs> i like to say things i know i don't like to say things i think i've been in the sun a lot today i am getting tired obviously but even under here they've made this pure storage now what's kind of cool is during the day this is sort of set up so that you flip that bed up out of the way and this is a nice padded bench so even over here we have an extra seating space now what's neat is if you don't need all three of these beds you don't have to put all three of the beds out the other thing a lot of people haven't thought of is you can use these shepherd's hooks which is what these overhead poles are called which keep your hybrid bed up you can use those like um, a hanging coat rack. Put your hanger on here, run it down the line a little bit. Now you've just got the biggest walk-in closet you've ever imagined in a camper, basically. That's the cool thing about camping. There's always a creative use, so a creative way. Got nicer porcelain stool, not plastic. Lots of leg room in here. Our shower does actually have shower wall surround paneling, so you don't water damage your own walls. We have both a skylight as well as a power vent fan. We get both instead of one or the other. She's clean, guys. This one's clean. Cleans a whistle, good to go. Give us a call, 800-256-5196. Hey, Trailers of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, happy camping.